Herceptin is a drug that is currently used for women that uh, breast cancer, women that have tumors that express the proto-oncogene HER2. And they have to not only overexpress HER2, but they have to be to have the gene amplified. Um, Herceptin works very well when it's combined with chemotherapy and right now also is used with a combination with other um, drugs including pertuzumab. Um, these drugs are successful but the only problem is that patients do have resistance after a while um, when they are treated with Herceptin. The study that we currently are, um, are uh, performing in the laboratory and currently was published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute demonstrates that a region in the HER2 um, protein is involved in the dimerization or in the partnership between the HER2 receptor with other receptors of the her family. The her family is, com is basically a four types of the her receptors that are her one, her two, her three, and her four. And they are dimerized either by a receptor in that a ligand induction of receptor dimerization or it uh, can be dimerized by overexpression of the receptor. So we identify this particular region that when it's uh, mutated, basically it prevents the, not only the homodimerization of the receptors, but also the heterodimerization of the receptors. So we anticipate that the use of a drug that targets that particular region will be much, uh, much more useful than any drug that we are currently uh, using in the clinic. And we demonstrated that by using different breast cancer cells as well as uh, non-transformed uh, breast epithelial cells. This could have possibilities not only in breast cancer um, tumors that overexpress the receptors and have amplification of the gene, but it could have a possibility in patients that their tumors have not only overexpression of HER2, but they also would have expression of HER2 in combination of uh, expression of other HER2 receptors, as well as other carcinomas uh, such as ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, and for example, gastric cancer. We are currently conducting animal studies with these particular HER2 mutants in which um, we are um, determining whether the cells that, that contain these particular mutants are able to develop tumors in uh, immunodeficient mice. If these tumors cannot uh, develop tumors in mice, we are confirming what we are current, we, what we just published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute. If that's the case, that will definitely determine that this particular functional domain is crucial for the development of a drug that will target this particular domain. We believe that there is definitely hope because this is the first time that anybody has identified any region that blocks homodimerization and heterodimerization as well which will simplify the treatment of the cancer rather than combining two, three, or four drugs together. This will be a, a one-stop shop, if you will. And, um, and no, women will not at this point go to the doctor and say, please give me this drug. The drug does not exist. This is a promising area of, of future research. Uh, what is excites us is that this is the first time that has been done, and um, by serendipity, if you wish, uh, we got to this point, and we hope that this will pan out when we develop the drug.